Good morning, but welcome to a new daily vlog. I look an absolute hot mess because I literally rolled out of bed and took the boys to school. Cody actually ended up oversleeping this morning. He had a lot of work to get done before he had some meetings. So I offered to take the boys so he could stop stressing because he was freaking out. And I literally rolled out of bed. Like, I wasn't prepared to take them, so I didn't have time to like do nothing. I had to get up, make sure their lunches were done, which we used to do their lunches at night, and we need to start back doing that because anyway, I'm exhausted. I was just gonna cook myself some breakfast, but I don't have the energy, so I'm picking some up from Chick fil A right now. And I'm not waiting in the line at Starbucks, I can tell you that right now. But I am headed to pick up some breakfast from Chick fil A. They're usually pretty calm by now. So I am so exhausted, y'all. I'm so tired. Like I look and feel a hot mess. I'm just, I need just a little. I really want to just feel like I can move again. But at this point, the baby is taking up all the space and I am, I'm exhausted. I'm truly exhausted, so. Hi. Good morning. What's the name for the order? Tamara. Tamara, what are we getting today? Um, can I get an egg and cheese biscuit? Egg and cheese biscuit? And strawberry. American Kobe and pepper jack. American. American. All right, y'all, I had to stop recording because I had to scan my apps so I can get my points. I think for me, what's been the most challenging, I, I actually really had a moment last night, a moment I'm not proud of. I really got very upset and was yelling and fussing because stuff was just not how I wanted it to be in the house. And I felt aggravated. I felt like I was the only one trying to make sure everything was together, which is not true. Cody does a lot and it's a lot on his plate because he's pretty much handling a lot of the day-to-day -day operations without a lot of my assistance because I can only do so much. People are not meant to be single parents. You know what I'm saying? So when I see single moms, single dads, I feel for them. It's meant to be done with a partner, you know? Mm -hmm. Tamara, thank you. Congratulations, you have a great day. Same to you. She's probably like, oh, this girl looks so raggedy. I do. And that's okay. And that's all right. I really want like a breakfast drink, but I'm not I drink my water because I'm definitely dehydrated. But anyway, you're not that's not supposed to be done without a partner. You know what I'm saying? Like it can be hard, it can be frustrating. And when you have two little ones, you're running a business, you're working a nine to five, and a pregnant wife, that's a lot. However, it does not change the fact. You know, two things can be true at the same time. There's still so much to be done at the house. You know what I'm saying? And yesterday I got upset because I went in the boys' room. And first of all, we have decluttered. Y'all saw on the last few vlogs, a few vlogs back, we literally decluttered their room. I got rid of all stuff that could cause clutter in there. And they only have a little bit of toys out. Why is your room dirty? No cards all over the room, socks, underwear. And part of that is because... I love my husband, but he will do the laundry and then he doesn't like he'll take forever to put it away. So when he takes the boys dirty hamper out of the room, they don't have anywhere to put their, like he doesn't give them another basket to put the dirty clothes in. So their clothes end up being everywhere out of sorts. And I have set size specific baskets, one basket for their uniform so they don't get mixed in one basket for their socks and then a basket for their regular dirty clothes. Stuff was everywhere and I was livid. I was angry because I'm just like, and then I was having to bend over and pick that stuff up. And from there, I just got pissed and I just went off. And um, I ended up, after getting all the stuff together with Anna, with Kylan, I ended up doing the laundry, ended up folding. And I was just like, I'm tired. I don't feel like doing this. Like, I don't want to do this. So anyway, I'm headed home. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and get back in the bed. Um, we washed all of Kylan's clothes that he received from the baby shower, plus the clothes that I bought yesterday. Washed all of that, so I'm going to fold it and um, separate them between newborn, zero to three months, three to six months, and six to nine months. And then um, we also washed all blankets, bibs, burp cloths, all that stuff. So, washcloths, I'm going to um, fold those items up too. We'll get to that later. And I also have to film some content for a brand that sent me a product. 
So today's a pretty chill day, but I still got some stuff to get done. So I'm gonna lay in bed until I feel like getting up. So that's the plan for today. So I'll see y'all a little bit later. Bye. Okay, scroll. Running late to pick up the boys from school. Literally, since the last talk to y'all, I've been in the bed. Been in the bed the whole time. Slept the whole time. I think I watched maybe 40 minutes worth of stuff on YouTube. And then I was asleep. So, hey. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? So, I've slept for most of today. <laughs> and... It's been it's been good. Been able to do that. Definitely want to like pick up the boys, but I'm on my way. Cody had an impromptu meeting, so he's finishing that up. The baby is chilling. Didn't give me too many problems while I was trying to nap, so that's it. So as y'all can see, we just picked the boys up from school. Mm -hmm. And hey, the boy said, hey to the vlog. Hey. I'm going to grab myself some lunch because I haven't eaten since this morning when I talked to so us around nine o'clock. I finally got home and ate my breakfast. So I'm hungry, very hungry. The baby is all the way up here and I mean he's stretched all the way out. So I'm gonna get that. And then the boys have medicine at the pharmacy I need to pick up. And I actually have a few items that I need to get from the pharmacy for my postpartum stuff. So I'll be picking that up. And um, and then I have someone who wants to drop off a gift for the baby. So I'm going to meet them somewhere in town. And then we're going to get back to the house. Like I said, it's been a pretty restful day for me. I've been in the bed. Cody has been in meetings literally all day. So he's been working all day. And you know, boys, how was your day at school? See, Carson, how was your day at school, Bubba? Congratulations. Yeah. Which is you like, girl, you need to go to the hospital now. That baby came. Yeah, mom was trying to come early. I have a scheduled C-section for 38 weeks. But I have had three, two C-sections and two other surgeries on my uterus. So my doctor's monitoring to make sure it's not thinning. Because if so, she's going to take them early. So we'll see. It's supposed to be the 23rd. I don't know if we're going to make it. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's time. I want to do the grilled chicken. So here's my lunch. I'm about to devour it because I'm so hungry. And there's that.
right, y'all, baby is full. For the most part, he stopped kicking me. We went ahead and took the boys to the playground because we realized that we didn't have the card we needed to get the items we were gonna get. Is that food in my corner? Anyway, so we went ahead and let them play first before we go back out. So that's what we're doing. And then we're gonna go and get those items and come on back home. So, was that fun? Yes. I wasn't sweaty at all. Can I Get have your seat belt to take home? <laughs> I wasn't sweaty at all. Okay, seat belt song. Mom, Mom, I was the best person from Boots and Boots. Oh, you were? Yes, yes. And brother was Boots and Boots, and I was trying to, and I was trying to get him, but but brother was too fast. I was like, I was like the wolf. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't catch me. Yes, like, so I can, like, you know, I'm, I'm. All right, y'all. Welcome into the house, y'all. We got the stuff for my postpartum cart and hospital bag. We also got a few groceries. I'm gonna go inside and get settled. And then I have to get on to a live video with one of my favorite YouTubers. I'm excited about that. So that's what I'm about to do. I love y'all. See y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all. I recorded a whole section of me talking about a gift I just got and putting stuff in my postpartum cart. My bag closed the door and I deleted it because I felt like I wasn't looking appropriate. Like I looked like I was at home comfortable with my family, which that's normally how I look, but it was a little too much. And so I deleted it and just want to have a moment of transparency, y'all. I am to the point in the pregnancy where I'm really emotional. I'm really tired. I can feel my hormones changing up on me. I'm having more and more mood swings, more and more irritable, more and more aggravated, sleeping a lot more, and I'm just really tired. <laughs> and not only am I tired, but I'm like tired physically and mentally, and I'm easily aggravated, and I'm just tired of feeling like I can't do for myself, and not being able to get comfortable, and... It's just a lot. Like, it's just a lot. Hey. And I'm just aggravated and aggravated with myself and aggravated with everybody in the house. Like, everybody's getting on my nerves. And I'm aggravating myself because I'm aggravated. And I'm just, I'm over it. I'm really over it. So, this is a part of the journey, I guess. I still feel like we have so much to do, but I'm just, I'm just ready to have this baby. Like I'm aggravated that my surgery date got pushed, pushed back three days, which is not a lot of time, but for me, it is. That's three extra days I got to sit here and deal with this discomfort and stuff. Like I'm just ready. I'm really ready and I'm tired and I'm just ready to meet my baby and get back to my new, what my new normal is going to be. Yeah, I'm just, it's like the boys are just, they're so wired and I try not to yell at them, but they're just being boys. But everything that they do is aggravating me right now. And I know it's because of the pregnancy and my hormones. Y'all just pray for me. Y'all just pray for me. I had a craving for pecan pie and ice cream. So that's what I'm trying to eat right now. But I can barely enjoy it because I'm so aggravated. Like, I'm so aggravated. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to get off here and just try to get my mind together. What's up, y'all? I've calmed down since earlier. I am, I had a craving for a piece of steak, so I do want to bought me some and I marinated some steak. Go 
ahead and pack the boys' lunches while the pan is heating up. And actually, I'm going to cook one of those steaks because, geez louise. So yeah, I'm going to let y'all see me do that. And yeah. into these moods and he starts building baby stuff so i like to do it when i have the energy so we got our car seat what are you i thought you had to put that part on there oh the seat goes right there yeah my tuka tuka poo poo that's your mama's stinker man the latch in the back yeah you gotta I'm move you gotta move that out of the way there's the latch yeah but this I don't feel like it's giving me enough room. Well, he's figuring that out. Y'all, look at all this stuff. And look at this steak. I got some sauce to go with it, but it's good. Mm -hmm. 